Hello and welcome to Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. I'm Becky Parker Geist and I'm your host. Audiobook Connection is your place to learn about the audiobook creative process and for authors to learn valuable tips on producing and marketing your audiobooks. This podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we're going to talk about the top four things you need to do in marketing your audiobook. These are broad, but they are really important as you prepare to market your audiobook. Now, I know and talk with a lot of authors, and one of the things that is quite consistent is the sentiment that marketing can be really overwhelming. There are so many things that you could do to market your book and your audiobook. And sometimes it can feel like every new marketing strategy is like a shiny object pulling you that way, and you end up possibly doing some of those things, or maybe just getting so overwhelmed that you end up not doing anything. This episode is to help you get organized and figure out how to take it one step at a time. Another thing that happens frequently is that it may feel like if we're doing anything, it's at least I'm doing something. When that very effort of doing the something, and maybe that's putting a post on Facebook or something like that, it may not be getting the results that we want, except for that momentary sense of satisfaction that we've done something. And the truth is that we can't do everything, but the good thing is we don't need to. So the place to start, number one, is make a plan. I'm going to give you some different ways to approach making the plan, and then you can either do this on your own or you can reach out for help. This first bit is a bit of a gathering process. Now, depending on where you gather information about marketing and what your possibilities and potentials are, you may be gathering from many different sources. For example, You may have read on some social media platform about a tactic that might be helpful in marketing your book or your audiobook. You want to write that down and add that to this list that you're going to create. Or you may attend meetings of an organization like Bay Area Independent Publishers Association, which I highly recommend, and the website is bapa.org, that's B-A-I-P-A. Dot org, Very valuable organization where you can get a lot of information about both independent publishing and then also about marketing your works. So you may have attended a presentation and learned about some new approach that you might use in your marketing. Or you may have seen a webinar or learned something from a YouTube video or may have heard about an idea, gotten an idea from a fellow author. There are all kinds of ways that you're taking in this information. So what I'm suggesting you start out by doing is just making a kind of, doing sort of a brain dump of all those different ideas, everything you can think of that you could do. And I say it in that way because I want you to leave off all the things that feel like they're either beyond your reach because of uh, financial reasons or simply because they would take too much time or energy. This is likely to be a big list, and it may be one that you're going to add on to as you go forward. But for now, I want you to take the time to create this giant list of marketing ideas They can be broad or they could be more specific. And I think that you'll be better off and find that the next step gets easier if you are a little more specific about what that plan is or what the steps are that you would need to take in order to make marketing progress if you were to add this item to your plan. One of the initial benefits of creating this giant 
list and just getting it out of your head and onto paper is that you've done just that. You've gotten it out of your head and in front of you where you can look at it more objectively and start to really evaluate what's going to be possible for you. You may also want to note if there are items on the list that would require you to learn something more, to get some team to help you or a professional to help you with that thing. You know, just note what you're able to do on your own and what you would need to either do something more for or reach out and get some help with. If it's something you would need to learn more about, then add the step to do that learning. Okay, once you have this giant list, then the next thing you're going to do is to prioritize it. And I want you to prioritize it not by what you can do first or what you think you can do most easily, but by what you think will get the best results. And that may be hard to figure out, but at this point, what you're doing is you're just going to make your best guess with this. You're gathering information you've been learning from all different sources. You're going to make an assessment of what feels from your gut, what feels like is most likely to be the best fit for you to get the best results for you. This is a list that also, if you do decide that you would like to get some help with your marketing plan, Having this list will be really helpful just in that process because you will have already thought through some of the many things you could do and speaking with a marketing professional will give you a starting place, a foundation, and then you can build from that point forward. If you would like help with this most essential, most foundational part of marketing, having a plan, if you would like help with creating that plan, this is the perfect top priority thing to go get help with. At Pro Audio Voices, the first step in our audiobook marketing program in the three-month launch program is to have our expert marketing team, our strategist, create your custom marketing blueprint. And there are other marketing professionals who are out there who can be very helpful in this process. Let's go forward with the idea that you now have this giant list and you have prioritized your list as best you can. Number two, you're going to make a checklist. This is also your to-do list. And this process may help you also sort of tighten up your overall list that you've already prioritized. One of the things that differentiates this checklist piece from your first list is that each of these on your checklist need to be things that you can clearly do and check off. In other words, they're not just marketing ideas, they're actually action steps. You may find that some of the list from your first marketing sort of brain dump of that those marketing ideas, you may find that some of those either need multiple steps to be able to do them or that you need help in some part of them. This would be a good moment to identify what kind of help you think you may need so that you can then add to your checklist to go find that help. Once you've gone through and made your checklist, I want you to add after each item, each action item, how long you think it will take you to do that. And if it's something that you can do in one day or one week or multiple days over the course of a month, whatever it is, mark next to each item the time that you think you'll need in order to accomplish that item. This can take a little more time because I want you to really think about it. Try to be as realistic as you can be about how long each step will take. And then in pencil, put at the top of that page or, you know, if you're doing it digitally, that's cool. Just, you know, put it at the top of the page, your planned launch date. And the reason I said to do it in pencil if you're working on paper 
is that you may end up deciding to adjust that date as you get clear on your plan and your checklist, and also on the third step that's coming up. As you're doing your checklist, double check against your first list to make sure that you got it all, all the things that you want to have on your checklist. And keep in mind that it is fine at this point to start weeding out some of the things that you feel like, ah, I just don't think I could get to that, or that just feel like make you feel overwhelmed. The idea here, of course, is to figure out what you can do, not all the things that you feel like you can't. This step, this creation of a to-do checklist, is also a part of our audiobook marketing program, launch program, that we offer. Let's take a short pause, and we'll come right back. Looking for a marketing plan and the support to implement it? At Pro Audio Voices, we're here to help. The audiobook marketing program offers three levels of launch packages to meet your needs. Each three-month program includes a custom marketing blueprint that is created through one-to-one strategy sessions with our marketing strategy team. You'll get access to the AMP membership portal with modules you can go through at your own pace, as well as a checklist to keep you on track. You'll also get a custom-built library of marketing assets, videos you can use in the places you'll be focusing on based on your marketing blueprint, a monthly coaching call, custom keywords and hashtags, your own direct sales landing page where you'll earn 70% of whatever price you set. And that's just the beginning. Visit audiobookmarketingprogram.com to learn more. All right, let's keep going. Step number three of four, and that is calendar. Now is the time to add each of those items on your checklist to your calendar. This can really take some time, and I want you to initially just put on your calendar that you're going to do this calendaring process and allow yourself um, at least an hour to do it. And very possibly, you may need more time than that just to calendar these items. Here's why. In a sense, this is where the pedal hits the metal. This is where we have to get real about what we can do and what we can fit into our calendar. Most of us have busy lives. And so trying to find the time to do all of these different things on your checklist, well, clearly they're not all going to fit in one week, for example, or even one month. So what you're trying to do is to be realistic about what you can do on which day at what time. This is where having written out in your checklist how much time you'll need for each of those items can be particularly helpful. This part of the process may also help you re-examine your checklist and really take a close look at what feels doable for you. Remember that not everything has to start right away and not everything has to be done right away. So give yourself some time and space and a lot of gentleness and allow yourself to take one step at a time. If you have time each day to do one step, awesome. If you have time to take one step a week, that's great. Do that. But make sure that you're making some consistent progress on your list. And this is going to require also some ongoing adjustment. One of the first things you'll want to do is at the end of each day is take a look at how the day went. You set aside time to do a specific task or tasks. Did you achieve that? What happened? Did you get distracted? Or did you actually get the task done? Take a look at what happened and then plan tomorrow Looking at your calendar and what you've already put on there, if you did not get something done today, can you fit it in tomorrow? If not, put it back on your checklist and see where you can fit it in, if it's important to even do it. Some of these things you may find that they drop off the list of importance, that they may, you may not get to them. 
And that's okay. You want to keep prioritizing what's going to have the most impact in your marketing. And so as you learn and as you move forward, those things are going to adjust. So as you plan tomorrow, you're going to be adjusting partly based on what's already on your calendar for tomorrow and partly adjusting based on how today went. And then I want you to celebrate the success for the things that did get done. Let go of any feelings of failure, any feelings that you disappointed with yourself that you didn't get a thing done. Forgive yourself, reset, give yourself a do-over. And I want to reiterate the importance of celebrating your successes, even if they're little tiny successes, celebrate them because that feeling of success will help you to experience more and more success. I want to give you a wonderful resource for this process, this plan tomorrow, today process. I learned it from Steve Napolitan, my mentor, and have been continually working to implement it effectively. And it's an ongoing work in progress, but it makes a tremendous difference. And so I want to offer this resource to you. His website is stevenapolitan.com, and that's S-T-E-V-E-N-A-P-O-L-I-T-A-N.com. Okay, now we're going to move on to step number four. And this is a short one, but so important. It is make a commitment. Commit to yourself. Celebration of your successes and forgiveness for the things that you are feeling like that you didn't do as well as you wanted to are all a part of that. Let yourself grow in this process. Marketing doesn't all have to be about what's happening out there or happening in your sales. It can also be about growing personally. Continuing that process of reviewing each day and resetting as needed is a tremendous way to learn about yourself and to grow. One of the other things that can be really helpful is getting some team support or somebody who will help you in a kind of, I'll say accountability, but it doesn't have to be so much about did you get your things done as it is just support. Somebody who cares, somebody who wants you to succeed and to help you grow. And again, if you're looking for the kind of support of having a team, having a community around you to help you in all of these steps, consider the audiobook marketing program. We love working with authors and helping them succeed with their goals in their marketing. Thanks again for being with me today. I hope you'll check us out at ProAudioVoices.com. Thanks for joining us for Audiobook Connection, behind the scenes with the creative teams. Please take a moment to subscribe at audiobookconnection.com. The podcast is sponsored by Pro Audio Voices, helping great stories come alive through audiobook production and marketing. Learn more at proaudiovoices.com. Again, thanks for being with us and please join us next week.